Hey guys, uh, just in case you're wondering, or have ever wondered, what is inside of a military three lever light switch? I'm taking this one apart just to figure out what's wrong with it, so why not bring you along, huh? Uh, I've got it. Got it all, I've already got the back off. Um, and that's not really, not really easy. Uh, this is not meant to be a user serviceable part, right? When these switches go bad, they're meant to be thrown away and replaced. Uh, this one here is also bad. Um, you see the back of them is sealed with a clear silicone. And right here, you gotta dig that silicone out and there's a Phillips screw in there. You take that out and uh, you've gotta cut away the silicone. And after you cut away the silicone, there's still a nice big rubber O-ring. So it makes it really hard to pull this out of there. I uh, I screwed an old cut-off pigtail into it and then clamped the end here in a vise and just pulled on the switch and it popped it out. Uh, but you want to be careful not to pull all these wires apart if you're actually trying to repair this thing. So uh, this is the first time I've ever pulled one of these apart. I know, uh, I know other people have done it, but it's, it's really not meant to be done. Um, this is the circuit breaker there's only one and it actually works i've already uh, hooked this up to the harness in the truck and been and tested for power and all i've got power through the circuit breaker um but i don't have power coming out on the other side of the switch contacts so there's something wrong with the contacts so um i'm gonna pull out i'm gonna pull out the contact board and I know, because other people have said that this has happened to them, when I do, springs and shit are gonna fly everywhere, because I mean, they're, they're everything, all these levers are spring loaded, so. Or the detents are, anyway. So, let's uh, see what happens. I'm gonna take these off. I already pulled one of the screws out of that board in there. It's this one. And there I can see corrosion on the contacts down here where they're soldered onto the board in some of them. You probably ain't gonna be able to see it, but there is. So I'm sure just a case of water intrusion over time. This uh this switch is made in 2005. So and I don't remember where I got this switch. Uh I probably picked it up at a show for a few bucks uh, and that's the thing about used parts like this is yeah you might get them for 10 or 15 bucks or whatever at a show but you never know if they're any good until you actually hook it up and test it so um, and that's why I have two here that don't work <laughs> okay so I think that's it let's see okay yeah it's coming out because these are coming out with it so let's see what happens okay stuff oh, oh oh that's screws okay so stuff didn't fly everywhere which is cool um interesting there's a ah, the lighting sucks uh, Bear with me, I'm trying to figure out what I can do here. I've got a flashlight that only half works half the time. See that? So that's the locking lever, I guess. Yeah. Bottom, bottom right. That's the, that's the unlock, which uh, you have to actuate for that. So. And I see plenty of corrosion on the contacts under this wheel. <sighs> Let me see what I can do here. There's a little sand or oxidation. It looks like sand, but it may be aluminum oxide. See if I can pull this off without it flinging shit everywhere. It's probably gonna though. Well, 
Well, the little arm is uh, keeping it. Okay. Somebody's going to get their hair cut. I really don't want to break this thing. Because if it's just a little corrosion on the contacts down there, I might be able to repair this thing. There went shit everywhere. Okay, cool. So, looks like three different sets of contacts here. Can you see that? No, not even in frame, huh? There's one. There's another. There's another. see that corrosion but that appears to be on the well this is the central contact right no that's off that's the off position straight up huh. so these two this blue and gray wire connected should be service or er, stoplight only. And then the double whites down here, they should be this bottom contact, which would be have to be service drive over there. Hmm. Lots of rust in the rotor there. But I don't understand why there's one thing that has two contact points on it and two that have three contact points. Hmm. Yeah, and there was a spring behind each one of these two, I think. Well, there's a spring behind at least one. Oh, their springs are still in here. They're just so rusted that... Wow. Or is that plastic? Like it's supposed to be threaded. I can't tell. If it was a spring, it ain't no more. Gotta be. Gotta be. I don't know. It should be a spring, you would think. I mean, how else is that contact supposed to be held against anything? But why... Why a tiny spring pocket here and a big spring pocket here? But this other rotor, you can see right there, there's a spring under another two contact two, uh, conductor there. And I can kind of see through, there's another a three prong one here. I can see through it, and there's no spring under that one. So, what is the deal? Yeah, there's no, no spring, no tension against it. It just kind of lays there. Huh. I can't help but wonder if this is just a case of these springs were so tiny. And then significant that a little bit of corrosion completely destroyed them. Hmm. 
I mean, there's no way, no way that it would make contact without a spring behind it. It doesn't make any sense. So I think that's the problem with this switch. That's why I wasn't getting any power from one place to another. As the contacts weren't being pushed out to make, uh, complete the circuit between the uh, opposite contacts in here. I mean, like, if you look carefully, you can see right here, you can see a fresh, fresh mark on that one where it was obviously making contact and the same here for blackout. But on this side, almost nothing. So. But, which way was this on? It was on like this, right? Yeah, it was on like this. That's the position I pulled it off. Right there. Which puts the two prong contact that had a spring behind it up here. This is how I figure shit out. I've never done this before. Um, oh look, a spring. Yeah. And this is how I've always tried to figure things out. Like, just, you have to just do it, you know? Don't be scared. Because you either gotta fix it or replace it. I mean, obviously I've already replaced this. And I don't know what I did with it. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to clean up these contacts. I may take that other switch apart too and see how it compares. I can't believe there's no spring in it. I mean, why is there rust there if there were no... There had to have been springs there. There had to have been springs. You don't get rust um, if there wasn't, right? Because that's pure, that's pure copper. There's no steel on that. I don't know. Just a shame that, you know, such a small, insignificant part would make a, such a heavy-duty built switch not work. Because, um, I mean, these contacts are huge. It's no lightweight stuff here. Yeah. Anyway. I'm, uh, I think I'm going to end the video here. I got I got to find my wire brush. I'm going to do a little more figuring on this. Like I said, maybe tear down that other switch and see if it's got springs in it under those contacts. They have to. I mean, they, they just have to. There's no... <laughs> There's nothing else that would be able to... I mean, just turning it like that, the contact falls away. Just turning it upside down. So with no spring tension... Running down the road, this thing would be going, just rattling in and, in and out of contact. You'd be getting lights, losing lights. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense at all. There's no way it could work without a spring. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this a little bit helpful and informative. Uh, sorry, I wasn't, you know, able to, like show you anything conclusive here but really the goal was just to show you the guts of this thing because a lot of people have never seen this including me until now so uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already please it really helps us out here grow the channel and get a little more exposure and be sure to check out our sponsors that make this all possible they're listed in the description below the video as always and we appreciate you and we'll see you next time if i can get this to stop